enough with the um, messing around the douche bag instructor comedy videos this video I'm gonna talk about a legitimate actual true self-defense number one there's no perfect method number two you know I think depending on how the attack is happening where if they have already on you you need to try to run back get back and then try to attack them that they're already on you they've already hit you they've already cut you something whatever you know, some of you are always not prepared for it. They caught you out the blind side of your eye or whatever, caught you off guard, you know. You never know when an attack might happen from some person that's just a bad person want to hurt people. Now, if you do know an attack is coming, do whatever you can to find something between you and the person or whatever, or alert other individuals, or just find a way where you can tell of how he's going to attack to use different part of your body to counter that. What I'm saying, like for example, if you're shorter or you have longer arms and you can tell that, he's going for a punch, he should probably go for a kick. Your leg's going to be long in the arms anyway. So, that's just some philosophy. There's no guarantee about anything. That's just, that's just me talking around for the heck of it. This right here is a decent tool. I own Cold Steel Irish Blackthorn. Very good little walking stick. It's not going to break on you, you know. You can just have a walking stick and just learn self-defense stuff with it. And really, all I do for me learning my stuff is just learning how my body and my grip and how this works, the position of my body, so I don't hit myself when using it. That's all I learn. And there's so much I don't know is I'm just a very beginner. I'm never going to say I'm some teacher like the people I'm making fun of my videos here. It's so, alright. Thanks for watching, folks.